We're going to go through a teaching progression of uh, the underwater breaststroke pole. And we're starting with the swimmer doing what she typically has been doing. And we're going to try to work through this progression pretty quickly here in just a couple steps. The first thing that we noticed is obviously the, um, the dolphin kick is placed at the back where uh, the old rules have stated. The big thing that we try to watch is the timing of the recovery of the hands and the feet. And what we like to see is those separated. You'll notice that with both the hands and the feet coming and starting the recovery at the same time, we watch the orientation between the lane lines and the hips. And we'll notice that at that point, the hips come to a dead stop, the torso is coming to, to a stop, and so we're trying to minimize this as much as possible. So we're in a little bit too much of a resisted position right here, and then kicks back out. And we're not sure exactly how far she's going to get, but right now we're going to look at the orientation between the line and where her body is. And so we'll start from here. The first thing we wanted to do was change the timing of when the dolphin kick came in. So we started with the progression where she st simply pushes off in streamline, pulls down, keeps the legs straight, and does her underwater pull. You'll notice that she still has uh, the arms and legs recovering at the same time, but we have at least started to get her to think about the underwater dolphin kick happening with the hands still in streamline. Go back really quick and then let's see where she's breaking out a little bit farther. The next step is to work on the timing of the recovery of the arms and the legs. So we'll maintain the dolphin kick in streamline, pull down with straight legs, and then recover the hands first before the legs start to recover. There still will be some hesitation in the hips. There's really very uh, little way to avoid that, but she's traveling farther and maintains a little bit more momentum as she goes through this. Some hesitation there in the hips, but we also... Now we want to make sure to maintain momentum that the dolphin kick is initiated sooner in her underwater pole phase than she was doing before. So you're going to encourage the swimmer to start the small dolphin kick sooner in the process. And that's to maintain momentum rather than allowing the slow down. So we can see here about where she is. But we're going to be reaching this point a little bit faster. As she starts to change all these small dynamics within the underwater pole, you'll notice that she's continuing this orientation down, especially right here. So the body line is aiming down, which is going to take her a little bit too deep, and so what happens here is it takes her too long to come back up to the surface. So we're gonna to try to make sure that we show her that at this point, especially during the pull down, that she starts to flatten out a little bit more so that she's gonna be closer to the surface for a better breakout for her first stroke. And after about six or eight underwater pulls, we end up with this, which is what we call pretty solid. So look at it one more time, slow motion. Good angle, dolphin kick to maintain momentum, pull down with straight legs. Angle is fairly flat, arms recover before legs, back into streamline, break out just a little bit past the line. Very nice job.